Hello, this is Devin from WP Theming. I wanted to do a quick plugin demo of Option Tree, which is a new plugin just released a couple days ago by Derek Herman, uh, who's a developer in Portland, Oregon, and he does a lot of work with Embato. And this plugin allows you to easily set up options panels for your WordPress themes. And I have a feeling that uh, Derek developed this for Embato to use in their themes. So I know they were like, the theme forest was having a lot of trouble with different options panels and no standardized design and whatnot and this would seem to fix that problem and what's very cool is Derek also released this into the WordPress repository and it's on Git so we can work with it and branch it and do all sorts of fun stuff with it and for a quick demonstration I set it up to work on my portfolio theme which I released a few months ago um, and I set it up to have a logo image, some of these background colors, and some custom um, footer text. And it works really nicely. I like the design of the options panel. It's a lot like Woo themes, so people that are familiar with that should have no problem using this options panel. And you can easily upload a logo. Save the changes. I've set it up to work with this theme, so it just loads in like that. Um, you can easily choose the different colors that you want to use. And if you want to add new options to your theme panel, it's really easy. You go to settings, choose to add a new one. Let's say you want to have Google Analytics as an option. Just go ahead and write in what you want for the header. Do your option key and choose what you want it to be. So Google Analytics would probably be work best as a text area. You can do four rows. Save that. And now go back to your theme options. And you have this new theme option to display the Google Analytics. Um, in the theme, it works kind of clunkily right now. I'll probably go through and set it up better. Um, first you check, this for the, the footer here, first you check to see if the function exists, if the plugin has been set up. If it has, you go ahead and grab the piece of data you want. Um, in this case, the footer text that I want to use. And then I say, if it does exist, go ahead and display it. If not, go ahead and do the default. Um, I haven't dug too much through the code for this plugin. I do know that it sets up an additional database table where it stores all the information, which I'm, I don't know if that's the best way to do it. It seems like um, it probably could have been stored without creating another database table. Um, and the other thing is if you want to use this in your theme, like I'm thinking about using it in the portfolio theme, I still need to leave all these settings in here um, because of the plugin, which would allow someone, a less advanced user maybe, to come in and um, change things that maybe they shouldn't be changing. So it does have its advantages that it's very easy for um, someone to set this all up. Um, and the disadvantage that it's kind of a big file if you just want to be using it um, as an options panel for a theme that you're going to release. So quick overview of this plugin. I just wanted to demonstrate it and see how people were using it, if they have any opinions on it. And um, again, thank uh, Derek for releasing this. I think it's a really cool step forward in the right direction.